Welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I would like to demonstrate how to set up and connect a Diabolo starter kit and how to incorporate any additional devices, including slower ones such as the Delano 211 Plus, into your network. I will also show you how to integrate new components that you want to add to your network. Because that is also a problem. The city has already replaced all of them accordingly. However, let's say you want to integrate a used device from a neighbor who no longer needs it. This device needs to be specifically inserted, that is, integrated, and I will show you exactly that. You will also need a network cable. So, now I'll show you how to proceed and connect the starter kit from Devolo. The starter kit comprises two components, one of which is the Elan 500 Duo. And once from the Delan 500 Wi-Fi. You need it for the installation. The Elan 500 Duo. And you need a router. To this router. Should we connect the network cable to a free LAN port? The end. The network cable is then connected to the WLAN 500 Duo which is subsequently plugged into a socket near the router. We have now connected the network cable to the router and the Devolo LAN 500. Next, we just plug it into the nearest socket and wait. So, the light is grind, which means the adapter is ready. Now I'm plugging the Wi-Fi adapter into the room where I want to have Wi-Fi. And wait until my lights turn on. This means that one is the Wi-Fi light and the other is the network light. When both lights are on, the adapter is ready to start. We're going to do that now. It always takes a moment. Usually between 60 and 120 seconds, depending on the quality of the connection. Now we can see that both lamps are lit, and the adapter is ready. And now I would say, connect wherever you want, using your cell phone, laptop, or any other device. Search for the Devalo adapter and input the password. The password for the configuration is located at the bottom of the adapter. The password is saved on every Wi-Fi adapter. Yes, he inputs that, and then it should work. Now I'll show you how to set up other things on the computer. I have now started my PC and can use either Google Chrome or Firefox. According to Devolo Cockpit, in this case, the software scans the emails for Firefox. But it doesn't matter what you choose, as long as you find it. Level low. And there we have it. Cockpit. Then he goes here to download. The Volo Cockpit. Devoloak. And now you can choose either for your Mac, Windows system, or Linux system. I use Windows 10, so I am a Windows user. A registration window will open now, but you can simply close it. It's not necessary to complete the registration. The download will still commence. Then, direct. He asked me for a pop-up permission. Okay. And then it comes. Download the Devolo cockpit file. Of course, I have already downloaded them. As I mentioned, the server is relatively slow. It takes some time. That's not so dramatic, whether it takes one minute or three minutes, right? I'll close the window now, because I've already downloaded the file. 
cancel download. So, here on my desktop, you see, I have them here. The Devolo cockpit, or rather its shortcut, would of course need to be installed first. If you permit, the shortcut will then be on your desktop. Let's open the file. So, these are all my Devolo adapters that I have now set up in the house. If you know, um, you want to add a Devolo adapter. Here's what you have to do. Go to this location and click on Add at the bottom. Then another small pop-up window opens here where you will also be shown exactly how to set it up. Simplest of all, that's what I always do when you're here. Alternatively, you can simply add the new PLC device by entering the security ID and clicking on this field. Then another window opens. And to everyone, The adapter has a security ID on the back, similar to a WLAN or Wi-Fi adapter. For the WLAN 500 Wi-Fi adapter, the device number that needs to be entered for it to log you into the WLAN is the same as the WLAN number. Enter the number here. And then you can plug it in advance. It doesn't really matter. Do you just plug the adapter the new one you've just bought into your system's outlets. Enter this security ID and then press the button below. Okay. So, that's what I'm going to do now. Just a moment. Now I will input the IT security code. Ensure that you consistently use either uppercase or lowercase letters. Generally, however, it is always capitalized. Yes, that's funny too. Um. So, now I have my security code here. Then plug the new adapter into a socket, and once you have done this, simply press. Okay? It should typically appear in a very short time if the code is entered correctly. And lo and behold, there it is, the new code. The new code? Yes, the new adapter. You can do that. I don't know how many. So I am here now. Schultz, the rear hall. Never trust in my home network, so it can be expanded accordingly. It's crucial to have a direct 500 I mention on the router. As previously stated elsewhere, the router's capacity is capped at 200 Mbit due to its inherent limitations. Now I can show you what else you can do. For instance, you can now navigate here and rename the adapter as you desire. Franz Fritz, Josef, it doesn't matter, in front of the forest, behind the forest. I named my switch like this because I always connect the 500 Duo directly to the router. Furthermore, they can also restore the device to factory settings if they wish to sell it or give it away. The manual for each device is then also directly accessible. With the Delon 500 Wi-Fi, do you still have the following option available? Configure the device. Now, with WLAN, you need to set it up so that you can assign your own WLAN password. For example, um... Yes, you have an overview here on the configuration page. The status overview of the secured WLAN connection. The settings for device security, network settings, and WLAN settings can also be selected from the device configuration. You can set passwords there, but you don't have to do anything. You can set the date and time to manual or automatic. Display LED. Is it possible to turn off the LEDs? You can play there if you really want to. And you don't have to try and meddle. 
Let's proceed to the WLAN setup. You can go here, for example. Enter the SSID. This is essentially the name that appears when you search for Wi-Fi networks. You can enter your personal name here. I have it here now. You can also call it Devolo or whatever you prefer. It is only important for you to understand that once you adopt the attitude here, we are all one. The WLAN adapter in your network will automatically use this SSID. So in every room where you have a WLAN adapter, this SID Devolo will appear, in my case. Yes, in your case. Just enter what you have. Okay, let's get to it. How many keys? You can download it here. How many keys should I input? In my case here, I would definitely recommend Devolo Test WPA2. This is currently the best encryption method. And yes, you are there too. Of course. You are required to enter your password accordingly. We also have guest access. It can be set up. Then I have the option in the Wi-Fi filter. I only allow the devices that I want to connect. So my devices. If I'm concerned that someone might guess or crack my password, I can conceal it and only permit devices that should genuinely be active on the network. I can set up parental controls with a time limit, i.e. For instance, I can instruct the children to only play from 5 p.m. in the afternoon, after they have completed their homework, until 8 p.m., at which point they should go to bed. The Wi-Fi will be available until then. To avoid radiation, you can simply switch off the WLAN, especially at night when I'm asleep. That's what I know. I don't want this, and I can completely turn it off. That's also a great thing. Yes, and then we have the GPS set up here again, where you can only access through GPS. So there are many, many possibilities here. Yes. Then there is the administration. You can update the firmware there, meaning you should visit the manufacturer's website. First, download the firmware. Then click on Browse here. Select the file you have downloaded and install the updated version on your adapter. Then we still have it. We can completely reset the configuration. We can save the current configuration or the one we have developed so that if you ever get a new adapter or something similar, you just need to install it. Yes, you can restore a configuration. And that's all you really need to know about the setting. I hope I was able to help you. If you enjoyed my video and gave it a thumbs up in your settings, I'd really appreciate it if you could also subscribe. And then I would say, see you in my next video. Take care.